Hi everybody. I want you to meet my friend, Big Snuggly White Bear. Hello. Big Snuggly White Bear has been a friend and snuggle buddy to my grandkids for many years. And he has taken up volu voluminous space, I didn't say that word right, in my home and in my daughter's home and in our homes for very many years. And we have loved Big Snuggly White Furry Bear for a long, long time. But because of the trends of 2019 for Christmas, Big Snuggly White Bear is, instead of being sent to the scrap heap this year, because the kids have all finally outgrown stuffed animals and whatnot, or gone to the thrift store, is going to find a new home in our videos. So, um, I, I wanted to say that a lot better, but whatever. Um, in the next couple of videos, Big Snuggly White Bear is going to become a pot pottery barn hack among other companies that are doing these things. This is the hot trend this year. He's going to become an upcycle because all those um, non-shatter, unbreakable plastic ornaments that you can't stand because you don't like those old colors, which by the way, um, here's a freebie. Burgundy mauves and light light pink are the colors now and you'll be seeing that because I'm going to be doing a come shop with me on um, trending fall colors and they are in there. Um, I, I made a prediction and it was right about trending colors. So um, those are the colors this year. But anyway, um, back to my train of thought, which is kind of hard to do sometimes. Um, he is an upcycle because yes, those ornaments that you don't like anymore, don't throw them away. We are going to repurpose big shaggy fake fur white teddy bear. And if you have old stuffed animals laying around the house that have real fur look to them, do not throw them away. Get them out, cut them into strips, and let's make some really cool crafts. So he is a DIY, a hack, and an upcycle. So let's have some fun um, in the next couple of videos. And in this video, we will be making um, a faux fur wreath that I saw at Big Lots the other day. And we will be making some faux fur um, ornaments from our, as our upcycle project from um, the old ornaments that I don't like anymore. Um, and that is the hack from Pottery Barn. So stay tuned and let's go make something creative. Okay, so here we go. Um, I just started cutting them apart. Um, I was really surprised. I had already cut the ear off and tried the ornament. And by the way, the pictures at the very beginning of the ornament and the wreath are the finished product. Those aren't the hacks from B Pottery Barn. Um, those are the ones that I actually made from the bear. But um, I had cut the ear off and tried the ornament, so I had a pretty good idea that it was really going to work, and I was so excited about it. So um, just uh, got a regular pair of scissors and started cutting it up, and it made a big, huge mess. I'm going to have fake fur everywhere for a while. So what I used was old ornaments, some hot glue and scissors, and started cutting um, the fur into big pieces. I'm sure if you buy um, the fur in rolls, it will be so much easier because you can just cut it into the strips you need. But because this is an upcycle, um, just cut it into as big a pieces as you can because that's, I, I didn't know what sizes I would need. And then I cut them as I went. So here I am and I'm just um, getting out my ornaments and checking them out and showing them to everybody that this is what you use, your old plastic ornaments. Um, and uh, it was pretty easy for me. Um, the tops just come right off normally. Um, I had glued the tops on to some of my ornaments to get them into wreaths. So I wasn't gonna get those off. So I just used the ones that the, e the tops could easily come off of. Uh, it, it makes a better finished product if you can put the fur up close enough around the neck of where the top of the ornament goes. And then after you're finished gluing everything on, you fit the top onto the ornament. Here I'm just 
um, finding out that some of the ornaments tops were glued on, but, um, but, uh, any size ornament will do. Um, I used large ones for my demonstration and I'm going to make a bunch of them and I can't wait to decorate them. I'm going to do different themes. Um, every year I do a different thing. So, um, this year I'm going to do what I normally do is traditional. I use a lot of red and green and I do like country style. Um, I do like going with the farmhouse style. So I'll have a lot of, um, DIYs for that and I will have a video in the future and I will link to it as soon as I make it on decorating these ornaments in different styles and also um, decorating the wreath. Um, in these videos I focused on just making the wreath and the ornaments so that's what you're seeing here in this process. And so here I started to cut the fur apart and apply it to the ornament. And I keep calling it a product. It's a project. Um, and uh, it was so easy to cut. I was surprised. Um, there's also a thing about which way the fur will lay. And there's a whole thing about it. And I'm sure you can look it up on YouTube um, or Google it. But um, I didn't bother doing that. And it did turn out okay. I can see where it might become a problem, especially if you have um, a bigger project somehow, a bigger ornament or a, a flatter surface to work on where you would need the, the fur to lay in a certain direction. But for these, it worked just fine to just cut it into these strips. And, um, and again, this is the beginning of where you see how much of the fur comes off um, as you cut and make sure that you lay something down on your floor. I wouldn't recommend doing it on any kind of carpet whatsoever. Um, cover everything with plastic. Um, I, I'm fortunate to have a laminate floor in our living room, so it was just a matter of sweeping it up, but I really am still finding it in corners after a couple of days of cleaning. But, um, and um, I just will tell you for everyone for general purposes to be very careful when you glue. Um, hot glue is important for this project for it to stick. Um, the plastic ornament does have a tendency to melt under the glue gun. So um, you just have to be really careful and not use a whole ton of it and um, just kind of lightly apply it. Um, what I will actually do too is I will put it on the fur on the bottom of the on the underside of the fur and then attach it to the ornament it does just that couple of seconds of cooling makes a big difference so as to not melt the ornament as you're working um i just kept applying it and making sure that the ends came as close up to each other as possible so that there weren't any gaps um also um, later on when i made the wreath i found out that you can layer this stuff um and it pretty much has the same effect. It doesn't really show any difference. But um, I think the most important thing, and because this is the very first time I've ever done this, um, as I'm doing this project, I'm doing it with you. I There's no try to true reason yet. I usually come up with some type of a process as I go along and I make more and more of them. But this was my very first time. So um, it's trial and error for me. Um, I ended up having to go through and patch a couple of little areas where maybe I cut the, the fur accidentally as I was cutting strips and it was too short on the ball on the ornament when I got finished and you know you just look at it when you're finished and and you just um, cut small strips add glue as you go and um, cut it to fit and then go back over it when you are finished with it and then look for little places where you might have to add little pieces to make it all the way round and smooth and and you just work with it to make it to make it go but i thought that um at pottery barn i saw the price for the ornament was like over 20 dollars a piece and i ended up making these for free so um go in your go in your kids closets and all of the stuffed animals that they've thrown away and don't want any more um, definitely get them and use them for this. Um, I would, I'm trying to think of things I can do, um, with maybe the brown stuffed animals, uh, 
there's probably some great DIYs in there somewhere. And I'll try to think of some. If you can think of any, um, let me know. And um, if you would like me to, I would love to. I love a challenge. So if you could think of something to do with a brown stuffed animal or if you'd like for me to try, I'd be willing to, to, to do that. That'd be, that sounds like fun. Um, so um, I did. I, I looked on Pottery Barn one day and I saw these on there. And um, I... I thought, well, it's not really my style, but then I saw them on a tree and I'm like, wow, those look like snowballs and those are amazing and they can be made into so many other things too. I mean, I did an ornament and a wreath, but there's topiaries in there, there's snowmen in there, there's so many things that I'm sure that you can do with these. So um, I, I think I want to try a topiary. Uh, I do have a topiary that I, it's a very formal one that I use and I redecorate the, the accents on it for my seasons and stuff. It's something I made a long time ago out of this beautiful vase that um, I had gotten, a glass, hand-blown glass vase, but um, uh, it has just a round ball with moss on it right now and I was wondering, maybe I can turn it into a snowman. I don't know, you know, the ideas start flowing once you start doing this because, you know, you, you get inspired, but, um, it was just, uh, it was amazing to me how easy this was. So, um, with the bear that I use is just such a gigantic bear. I have so much of that fur. Um, I'm thinking even with the wreath and that did take up a, quite a bit of fur. I still have enough to make at least six. So that'll be enough to disperse through a tree. And then um, I have already gone through the old stuffed animals that were left behind and actually found two more that were white that I hadn't even looked at that I had that I had overlooked. So um, definitely do that. So here I am just um, continuing and I do apologize for the length of this video. It's my very first DIY video. So um, I took the liberty of um, making the segments of me working extra long so that I could explain to you and talk about the project. But um, I'll learn as I go and my editing will I'm sure get better. So just bear with me. Um, skip ahead if you like. Uh, this is pretty much what happens during this time here. I'm just gluing it on, fitting it together, and then um, coming up shortly, because I'm almost done at this point, I'll be um, gluing the top of the ornament, the hook, the, the part that you hang, the hanger part, onto the top again. And um, I think it just gives it a really polished finish, and it looks very professional at um at that point so um i would think that if you would leave the top on it and glue around it it would disappear inside of all of the fur so um i think a good point is to a good tip is to take the top off to put the fur on the ornament and then add the top afterwards and then i am i can't wait to decorate i mentioned i think i mentioned pearls i um, have some really really pretty pearls i think i'll use too and then I've also got um, some, uh, what else do I have? Um, well, I just have a lot of other ideas. Um, farmhouse style uh, with uh, burlap or um, the buffalo checks or um, red. And then, well, there's every color that you can imagine. Not to mention the trends this year go towards berry colors, uh, maroons and pinks and things like that. And so um, really the sky's the limit once you have this ornament here finished like this. Um, then you can embellish it, put any color ribbon on it that you'd like, or not have a ribbon on it at all and just hang it on the tree like a, a snowball. So um, just have fun with it. Um, and um, if you do try this and and if you are successful using a stuffed animal doing it or even if you make it from um, purchased ribbon uh, ribbon the it, they come in strips like ribbon they come in rolls but um, however you do it if you would like to show it off um, please put a picture in the comments below I'd love to see your finished um, project and then if you have any ideas let me know um, I am totally open to, I, I think that's how we all learn is we see something and then we add our own little piece to it 
and um, it just makes it so much better to have so many cool things in different ways. And so here I am. Um, the The top was taking a minute to uh, stay glued down, but it did get finished on there, and it's very tight on there. And um, that's it. That's that's my first snowball fur ornament made from a stuffed animal. <laughs> so I really love it. I thought it turned out great. So here's the second project, and it is the wreath. And um, I really kind of patted myself on the back from this one because I haven't done any real crafting for a little while. I've been very busy doing other things, and it's been a couple years. I, I worked for a while. I didn't have time, blah, blah, blah. You know all the things that we come up with when we have to take little intermissions from crafting. Ah, and it's horrible. Anyway, um, I just had some things on hand. I didn't have exactly what I really would have wanted to use to make this with, but um, I did what I could with what I had, and so I want to explain it to you here. Um, instead of having a foam wreath form, which is what I really would have preferred, I could have just wrapped the fur around as I went, and it would have been a lot faster that way of course um the only thing i had were was the dollar store wire wreath frames so what i actually did was just turn them to turn take two of them and turn them facing each other and then i wired them closed and um that's what i'm doing right here i took about six pieces of florist wire and i twisted them around the edges on the spines the little pieces of wire that go actually across the wires of the wreath and um that way they stay in place they don't shift which it won't matter after a certain point anyway but it just helped me to um anchor things down better um and that might help you but um i i wired the wreath together until it um came into a um round wreath form but just made with the wires so here I am with the finished wreath, I uh, wreath form. I wired it all together on um, front, on the inside and on the outside. And then, serendipitous as it was, uh, that's a big word, um, the, um, the stuffed animal that I used, the big bear, was full of really clean fiber fill. I've got so much fiber fill. I'm going to be able to do a lot with it. So I just figured that to make sure that the wreath stayed full and that um, I wasn't going to deal with pieces of the fur, um, you know, falling in in those little crevices where the wires are, um, because it's a wire wreath form and it's not whole, um, I just went ahead and took the fiber fill and started filling in the wreath form. And it worked out great. Um, I stuffed it pretty full and made it as firm as I could. Uh, I think that when I got finished, it probably weighed almost two pounds. So um, that was, a, it, I, I really put a lot in there and just made it as solid as I could so that um, the wreath would be as firm as possible. The wreath form would be as firm as possible so that I could wrap the fake fur around it and um, and it would stick, first of all. And, um, and that worked out really well, too. I was kind of wondering about that. Like I said, just um, with the ornament, this is my very first try. Uh, I, I learned all different kinds of ways to apply the fur to it, to make it stick, because I was just trying anything um, to see what work, what would work best and how it would work better. But, um, I just continue here and I just stuffed it until it was completely full. And you'll see that here in just a second. So once I finished that, I, um, cleaned up some more fake fur. Uh, it really was everywhere. And, um, it was really nice and sturdy and full and, um, dense so that I knew that it was going to take the fur pretty well. And I, I start, I cut my fur into some smaller strips, um, that were longer because I knew I'd be winding it around the wreath form. And I just started gluing it onto the wreath form. And this did take a while. This took about an hour 
and so I do speed up the film here in a second. Um, I don't know. I might. I'm talking while I'm voicing over, so I might actually even cut that out. So because it just took a long time to get it done, but I do want to leave enough of this on here for you to see um, actually how to do it. And that is, I just I attach it with the hot glue. I hold it on there and try not to burn my fingers, and then pull the fur as tight as I can, and wrap it around. And, and meet up as close as I can to the edge of the other fur. That way, um, the fur on the, on the outside, um, it, it blends pretty seamlessly with the other side and it, it doesn't really make, um, a line like I thought it would or an edge. But, um, in the places where it did, I went back and, and looked later. And of course, you know, I tweaked my wreath around and made sure that it, that it all was all glued down and stuff. There were places where I didn't glue it close enough to the edge and the, um, the edge of the material was sticking up a little bit and that's where the edges were showing. So you'll have to go back with your glue gun and, um, touch up places where it's not glued close enough. Of course, I do recommend using a foam wreath form for this. I think that would probably work best. Um, it'd probably be a little bit lighter too than what I ended up having, but which I don't mind, but I'm, I'm just saying that. Um, so I just continue with strips of fur and I did look as I was working to make sure that the, um, that the fur was facing in generally in the right, the same direction so that it wouldn't be, you know, all totally cattywampus, but, um, it worked out just fine. And I, there were places where it wasn't in the same direction and that worked out just fine too. So, um, you just, you just have to work with it and, um, just keep applying it. And if you don't like it, tear it off and put on another piece. But, um, and like I said, this did take a little bit a little while but um trial and error and um, continuing to see you can see a little bit of a seam right there i just went in and glued the edges a little bit closer together and they're actually also i want to mention this to you to don't panic or think that your project is ruined if you start seeing those types of seams and lines because you can go and patch these with other with pieces of fur you just take a another small piece of fur where especially where it's like just really showing and um you glue it down you glue it down on top of the fur where the the seam is and it blends it all together and it it looks great so um just keep working with it and that's what i did and um just um keep adding um because it's in a circle because it's in a round circle the the wreath form um it's not going to complete and you're working if you especially if you're working with straight strips of fur fabric um they're gonna want to spoke outward like a wheel so um as you work it will the the pieces of fur material will start bunching up and and you'll see that as you'll notice as you work and what i do is i just cut the end off at an angle and glue that down to where it would fit and then just start again so that I didn't have to worry about um, the fabric um, cre um, pleating and and creasing up and you know something that I might have to fold or something I just kept forming it and cutting the pieces to fit and then did that around the entire wreath and I do apologize for my angle of my camera and stuff like I said this is my very first DIY um, I'll get it down but um, I think my focus was just to keep where I was working in the center of the frame. And also, I won't work on a black surface. I thought the chalkboard would be great to show things, but actually it kept things from showing as far as I can see. And here's the finished product. And I hope you give it a try because it's super easy. It takes a little time, but you'll love it. Stuff bear is not here anymore. The wreath is here. 
and this ornament. And I'm gonna make a bunch of them. And here, I'll hold this up so you can see this. There's the top. Now, um, I, I explained as I was making it, but um, you do what you can when you're working with um, stuffed animals and you have to cut them apart to use them. And um, they're not perfect strips because it's, I know that you can buy that, the strip fake fur, but this is an upcycle. So um, I think that they look exactly like the Pottery Barn snowballs. Um, I'll do a little bit of tweaking here and there. There's a couple of places where they stick out, but aren't they just incredible? They look like a little snowball. I can't wait to decorate them. And um, I was going to decorate them for this video, but I thought maybe I would just show the mechanics of it and how to make them. Everyone has a different style. I think I'm going to make quite a few of these. I have a lot of that fur left. So um, I have an idea for a shabby chic with, I have a bunch of old big pearls thinking, um, uh, dusty pink colors and rose gold and um, some lace maybe for this but um, I decorate in more of a rustic not quite farmhouse but kind of a fusion of um, traditional colors and farmhouse so um, I'm gonna do that this way probably and um, I'll do a couple of different ones in a video that gets closer to Christmas time so but here's the ornament and one more time one more time I want to show the wreath and there are Several places on here where um, the little seams are showing because I didn't glue well enough. I burned my hands quite a few times, but I'm an old hot gluer, so I'm pretty tough as far as that goes. But be safe, and um, uh, I recommend using hot glue because it's gonna have to stick. And um, of course, I was using what I had on hand, so I didn't use a foam. Um, reform which of course would melt with the hot glue but um, the way that I did it was just using the stuffing from the bear and some dollar store wire frames that I had so um, but here it is and I can't wait to decorate it and um, hang it on my door this year and everybody's gonna think that I spent a million dollars on this thing somewhere and um, I spent two dollars on this thing it cost me the money for the uh, frames at the dollar store at the Dollar Tree. So there you go Isn't it wonderful? I can't wait. There's a couple of places. I want to work on it and you'll have to do that You'll have to tweak it, but Go through your kids old stuffed animals and look for the ones with the big fur and oh, yeah um, lay something down um, I'm gonna be cleaning up faux fur in my living room for quite a while probably but um, every bit of it was worth it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for watching and um, stay tuned because uh, we just moved in here. Um, I'll be sharing um, my story with you as I go along, but I'm a crafter from a long, long time ago. Um, we've just made a big move. Um, I have to redecorate this entire condo. Um, I've always decorated my house from thrift store finds and yard sale finds and remaking things and so we're gonna have a lot to do this is gonna be fun um, one of my playlists will be very long and it will be all of the things I do to redecorate my house so we have lot I have lots to share we have lots to do I have lots to teach you so stay tuned and um, all of those things you do on a YouTube channel because I'm brand new um, like this video please and show your support um, comment below if you have any ideas suggestions um, questions um, and of course subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you can um, see when I post new videos I'll be posting a lot of videos and um, what's that other thing that you do watch yes watch the videos <laughs> And I'll watch yours. I do watch a lot of them. I get so much inspiration from all of the other wonderful YouTubers that are doing this type of thing. And um, I will be mentioning them a lot too because I really do get a lot of inspiration from them as well. Um, so uh, every morning, probably about three times a week, I'm thinking, maybe even more. Um, grab your beverage, coffee, tea, 
and come and craft with me and let's um, be creative and do some fun stuff. And the holidays are just starting, so I think I started at a great time. It's nice to meet all of you. Um, welcome to my channel and let's just have some fun. Thank you. Thank you.